back in Shelby County. This is a second fuel fight. Uh, they're doing a low flow hydrant. So there's a fire hydrant over there that they are filling a dump tank. Yeah, move out of the way a minute. They're filling a dump tank. The Briarfield engine 203 is drafting out of that dump tank and loading tankers. So we've seen this before. That hydrant does not produce a thousand gallon a minute. In fact, it's uh, probably in the 500 gallon a minute range. So they are loading this tank with those supply line holders. Right? So that's coming from the hydrant. And they're loading tankers faster than the hydrant would load it. Right? So that's why you want to put that engine at the hydrant and when you have a low flow scenario you get yourself a dump tank and then build an open relay so they are done filling and now while that tanker gets on the road we're going to watch this tank refill so they loaded that 1800 gallon tanker out of this 2500 gallon tank and now the next one's given to come in and get ready also. This is another 1,800 gallon. So they should be able to load him without any problem. Uh, he uses cam locks. So they're gonna hook two three inch cam lock lines to him. And you can see our tank is refilling. We're almost at a point where it's ready to overflow. And we'll watch this sequence. So they're ready. They got it hooked, they got the valves open. The loader guy is opening, and there we go. We're back at it again. We're gonna get the kinks out of the line, and now we're back to using water out of this dump tank. So that is how you uh, defeat, as I like to call it, defeat that low flow hydrant and fill tankers at a thousand gallon a minute. The key, big tank here, and the ability to have that run straight in from the hydrant. So you notice it doesn't go into the pumper, but it's straight in. So folks are doing a good job. We're still at a thousand gallon a minute, uh, past the hour and a half mark.